So, there's just a lot of gardening that needs to be done. The roof's in decent shape. You can just see all the pots and all the flowers and everything like that that all have to be watered. We won't be able to keep that up, unfortunately. And this right here is a former garage. And right from about there, all the way along the end of the house, I'm going to have to cut with a, a cement saw and uh, jackhammer the cement out and put a drain in because it's leaking inside. Let's go around to the back. Siding's in good shape. So Stan and Don lived here for 35 years. There's the big garage with an extra storage. We're gonna put the boat in there. And once again, we have all these pots and all these raised beds. Clothesline. So this is where the septic right here is. That's where the drain field is. And right here, right behind here is another river. Actually, this is the northeast fork of the Union River. All needs to be cleaned out so it looks nice. And, uh, another shed, a couple compost bins. Come here and look at the little river in the back. So they call it a river, it's more of a stream actually, but they call it the Northeast Fork of the Union River. This is the, there's the back of the house, and the roof, and the garage. And we have three bedrooms, one, one point something bath. Oh, that's a chicken coop. Before it all collapsed in, it's all gonna have to torn down, gone away. Oh, look at that. That is a nice stack of what looks to be I think possibly treated wood, I would hope. Giant, enormous stump. Compost bin full of compost. Giant tree that needs to come down. And in here, we have some fish. I think. they almost be hiding. Definitely I'll uh, clean that out and make it nice. Got a lot of work to do. There's the side of the house, that's where all the bedrooms are. Anyway, that's uh, the house we're buying, Mom and Dad. Love you guys. So this is the side of it. That's a lot of stuff that's going to need to be cleaned up. I'm going to come out through the hedge. Bruce's and Lila's house. And we can see some of these really big stumps are sticking out through. Hi, cream! So all that crap's gonna need to be cleaned up eventually. Use a hydraulic lift to lift these large stumps into the trailer and take them out, put them in the woods, in the, in the place where I'm feeling behind the dam near the pond. This one's really big. Anyway, it's going to be a lot of chainsaw and a lot of work. So now we're coming to the front of the driveway. There's the bridge. And we have a nice little three-bedroom house. 
It's definitely our bind. Really pretty gardens during the summertime. In the wintertime, everything's a blasted ruin. That's just the way it is here in Washington. It's right next to the river. You can see the bridge. I'm looking at getting to uh, possibly replace the bridge or actually put a truck bed on top of it, 53 foot truck bed. Anyway. There's the house. This is the backyard. There's a fish pond, a little stream, giant stumps. A tree fell down over the fish pond and the swing and everything like that. Way in the back is another shed. I have no idea. Maybe that's a wellhead. I'm not sure. Anyway, it's a diagonal piece of property that goes up the bank over there. It's 1.3 acres. So this is all the stuff I have to get rid of. Cameron, thank God, cut out a huge bunch of trees, but he left everything, which was part of the deal. But there's just a lot of really big trees. That stump will stay there, of course. But there's a lot of stuff right here that needs to be cleaned up. And then all that stuff over there, all that lightweight stuff needs to go along the river. Anyway, this is my current project. to uh, clean the new house.